guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to focus on books. You know how much I love books and I just finished my five book reading wrap up which I think I've already posted on YouTube. I'm not sure. If I didn't, it's coming out soon but I'll put a link to that within the description box for you if you want to see it. But here are my next five books. What I've been doing recently, my next five to be read books, I'm doing like a try a chapter I call it. I've seen it on other stations and I really like it. So it's where I go in, read five or ten pages, the first chapter, the prologue, the introduction, whatever I feel like reading, and then get a feel for the book and tell you how I feel about that book. So let's get started. We're going to do The Cricket in Times Square, The Elements of Great Public Speaking, The Nurses, One to Watch, and Wish. Let's get started. I'm going to start with the Cricket in Times Square, a children's book. Looks really interesting. You have a mouse in a mouse hole that appears to be a cricket, and then outside you have a cat looking in. And this is by George Selden. The storyline starts off in Times Square. So in Times Square you have a mouse who's in this little mouse hole in the, I guess, the side of the wall, and he's looking out and he's watching. The mouse's name is Tucker, and Tucker is looking out watching a boy named Mario who is taking care of his parents' newspaper stand. And it sounds like they're a little down on their luck with money. And he's trying so hard to sell these papers so they can earn some money to provide for their family. So the little boy's there by himself working on this newspaper stand. The mouse here, Tucker, he's looking at the little hole feeling so bad for the little boy, wanting him so desperately to sell his newspapers. It's like he's truly concerned about him. So I found it very endearing and I'm looking forward to reading this book. The next one, The Elements of Great Public Speaking. Well, you all know I've written a book and at some point I'd love to go out and promote it and do a little public speaking, but I am such an introvert. I don't even know where to begin. So I thought I will read this and maybe it'll help me out. The introduction was, I think, entitled, Talk Isn't Cheap, So Dry. <laughs> I was skimming already, so this may not be the best book for me, but I'm going to give it a try. I don't know what the ostrich means. I guess if he can public speak, the rest of us can too. The next book is called The Nurses. and A Year of Secrets, Drama, and Miracles with the Heroes of the Hospital. Well, I'm a nurse, I'm an RN, and I've worked in the hospital, I've worked in clinics, I've worked per diem, I've done a lot of different things. Mostly I've worked in the emergency room and for an allergist immunologist, so I've done that for the bulk of my career. So this I found interesting, it started out, I believe I just did the introduction, and it started out describing four hospitals in the area and the different demographic in each area and how that related to the hospital setting. Chapter one is entitled, What It's Really Like to Be a Nurse, The Joy, the Heartbreak of Being in the Secret Club. I never really felt like I was in a secret club, but I did see a lot of joy. I did see a lot of hope. I saw a lot of heartbreak. I saw death. I saw a new life. Um, it's definitely an adventure in the nursing field. So I'm anxious to read this one. The next book that I read a chapter on, I don't know if I read a chapter or the, I think I did read the first chapter. and. This is about a woman. She's in Paris in the beginning. I think she's from America. As she was wandering through the different type of pastry shops and cafes in Paris, she felt conspicuous. She felt like she didn't fit in because she wasn't the same weight as she described as, I believe it was bird-boned women of Paris. So I guess she must be a slightly overweight anyway, and she looks fine to me but she was having trouble coming to terms with the fact that she wasn't the same as these other women and she felt a little conspicuous. So she wandered into a, I'm gonna call it a flea market of sorts where people were selling their wares and she came across this one place that had all this fabric and all this clothing and there was a lady there, a Parisian lady, and she was very nice. I believe she was in her 60s and she saw that this girl wanted to buy something nice, but she probably couldn't afford it. So she brought her this cape-like thing and it sounded like it, um, it fastened here around the neck and the girl really felt good in it. She really liked it. She couldn't afford it. 
But the lady said, if you wear this around Paris and advertise for me, she said, you can keep it. And I liked what the lady said. This is a Parisian lady. She says, the way you dress, the way you hang your head, I think perhaps you are hiding. But in this cape, you will be someone who everyone must see. So she's trying to kind of help her come out of her shell in a way and be proud of who she is and accept who she is. And the only payback she gets is this girl advertising her outfit. So I'm excited to see what happens. I believe it goes on to become like, um, I don't watch The Bachelor or any of those shows, but I think she ends up going on a show like that is what I think. And there's um, movie cameras here, so it should be good. And I didn't have a chance to read a chapter on this one, but I love the cover. It's so cute. Little girl and her dog, and the dog has his little paw on her arm. They're looking in each other's eyes. But I'll read the back for you. I knew what it felt like to be a stray, not having a home where somebody wanted you. And he was a fighter like me. That dog and I had a lot in common. I was suddenly overwhelmed with love for that skinny dog. I made a solemn vow and promised to myself right then and there that dog was going to be mine. It sounds like a heartwarming book. I'm anxious to read this. And that is it for my To Be Read 5 books. I'm anxious to get started. I think I will begin with One to Watch. I think I will start with that one. And then I think I'll go to a children's book. Maybe I'll do this one, The Cricket in Times Square, because it seems so heartwarming. Then I'll do something a little more intense, The Nurses. And then I'll do another children's book, Wish. And I'm going to save my least favorite. Um, my least favorite are the ones that I've tried, uh, The Elements of Great Public Speaking. It could be it's the least favorite, or it could be that I just don't want to public speak. But I'm going to save this one for last. So I'm looking forward to get started. I would love to know what you're reading. Put it in the description box below for me. If you have any book suggestions for me, I would love to know that too. All right, you guys, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.